Hi everybody, I'm Jessica from The Learning Common. Today we are going to be making wind chimes. The supplies that you'll need are a stick, some string, a pair of scissors, beads in any shapes, sizes, and patterns that you'd like, some bells to make some noises, and any extra decorations you might want. So this is how you do it. Once you cut your string, just slide the beads on. I'm putting about eight beads on each side and I'm switching the beads for every one that I do. Sometimes I use bells, sometimes I use beads. Did you know that the word chime has a long I? Ch, I, mm. The I is long and the E is silence. Keep listening. So I is a vowel, and just like all the other vowels, it makes a short sound and a long sound. What sound does I make when it's making a short sound? That's right, eh, like an itch or an igloo. I, igloo, eh. Sound is eh. Let's look at a few words that have a short I sound in them. We'll look at this, and we'll look at this. Let's sound these words out together. The first one, the sounds are b, i, t, bit. I bit the apple. The second one is p, i, n, pin. Pin it to the wall. In each of these words, the vowel is making a short sound. I wonder if a vowel makes a short sound, it says it's sound. Eh, that's the sound. But I want to see what happens if we bring another friend into the picture. What if I introduce you guys to my friend the pushy E or the magic E? Pushy E belongs at the end of a word. The job of the pushy E is to jump over the consonant that comes before it and work some magic on the vowel. Check it out. So the E comes at the end of the word, it jumps over the consonant before it and it works magic on the I. Now the I says a long sound. And when a vowel says a long sound, it says its name, which means that in both of these words, the vowel is gonna sound like I, but the E is gonna be silent. We don't hear it. Let's sound these words out now. B, I, T. Did you bite it? Bite. This one says, P, I, N, pine. It is a pine tree. In each of these words, the role of the pushy E was to remain silent, but to work magic on the vowels so that it says its name. Let's try it with one more word. What does this word say? Ooh, eh, lif. That's not a real word, is it? No, it's not. But if we add our friend the pushy e at the end, that e jumps over our f consonant to work magic on the i. The word says, ooh, I, life. I love my life. Those are just a few examples of words with long I sound. One more is none other than chime. And I'm going to let you guys get back to your chime making. Thanks for listening. Okay, once all of your beads are on, just tie a knot at the end of the string on each side so that nothing falls off. Make sure that your beads are split evenly, half and half, and then loop the string on to your wind chime. Just like that, you have a beautiful decoration to hang outside that looks pretty and sounds nice. That's our wind chime. <laughs> Once you've cut your string, just grab your beads and string them through the string beads and decorations there's the bell <laughs> okay here's how you do it once you've cut your string once for every one that i do 
Sometimes I use bells, sometimes I use beads. Did you know that the word chunk, 